Well, it's certainly amazing how opportunity to make smoke will, doesn't it? <laughs> Sussex gauge. That's handy. Oh, and scrapyard locomotives. <laughs> How do you make them scrapped? How do you make them scrapped? Uh, I was the one who made this layout. It was that one there. What it was going was like these old retired locals. Yeah. And they were just painted brown pretty much. So. I see. And it looked pretty cool. I mean, I know they're a bit sad that the engines have been scrapped, but they look pretty interesting, you know what I mean? Like, it shows that even when models, after when they've reached the end of their kind of life, they can't be constantly repaired, it shows that they still have a purpose. I see. And why is it called West Sussex Grange then? Is it just the name of the name of the Harry Cross is spelled in the 60s as well. So technically, our layouts are called anywhere. Which proves the definition. Yeah, see. We run on a modular format where the balls have to be a certain length and a maximum depth. Yeah. But besides that, besides having the three lines on the front, yeah. you can have whatever you want. I oh, see. And we're not fussy about anything you run at all. You can run. Yeah. From modern era to old stuff. I to guess the, yeah. they don't even have to bother making stations up because they could just make them own, their own up. Is it? Or make stations up, is it? Mm. I see. I'm not like one of my my own problem. Looking at LO9, being able to narrow that, being able to narrow that, one 9mm track, um, the coaches and engines will be the same size as LO. No, I like the fans how you made them. Is that by model kits, is it? Or? No, they're metal. Metal, are they? Yeah. I thought they are by model kits, one, but they just uh, bought them on 9 with you. Building um, engines to go around with this building. It's, it's,
Just read it, 